welcome or welcome back to my channel! So today we are going to be talking about Animal Crossing. I waited so long for this game. Um, Pocket Camp came out like three years ago and I've been playing it since on my phone um, because I just love Animal Crossing so much. So um, this is going to be kind of a review, my thoughts on it, um, what Animal Crossing is, facts kind of video. So stay tuned uh, and we'll go through all that stuff. Warning, there will be spoilers in this video. I'm letting you know right now. So if you continue to watch, it may ruin some things for you. Just a heads up, there will be spoilers in this if you have not finished the game. So just a little bit of background on what Animal Crossing is. Um, it's a game where you have an area or a town. Uh, you're the main character and everyone in the town is an animal. Um, or a creature of some sort and you have to assist them with making the town successful. You get to build things, you get to change things. It goes off your real-time clock, so um, for instance, the new game, whatever time it is on your Switch, it will reflect that in the game. So if it's 12 p.m. in real life, it's gonna be 12 p.m. in the game. Um, and it changes daylights, it changes seasons, depending on where you live. Uh, at least in the new game, if you're in which area of the world you're in. Um, but it's based off the times, so it's like living everyday life in a video game, pretty much. You get to create your own character, and you can have it look like you, or you can have it look completely different. Uh, and you get to make friends with all these animals, and you have a shop and a museum, and you have to help all these things succeed and scale up. Um, so it's really just having your own community, your own town, your own place, uh, based off real time. And in the new game, you can have, I think, up to eight people, so eight other friends in real life visit your place, or just people you know online, which is pretty cool. I think in the last game it was four or three. It's just really fun. So the new game starts off like every other Animal Crossing game, except instead of taking a train, you're taking a uh, a plane, you're taking the Dodo Airlines um, and going to your island. So this island is, this game is so much different than any other game. It's kind of the same, but there's also like some key pointers that are different, if that makes sense. So you're on an island, for starters, instead of a town. Um, there's no one else on the island. You arrive with two other animals and then from there you build houses farther in the game and um, animals come in and move in and all that, yada yada. So you move in with Tom Nook, our boy Tommy, our boy Timmy and Tommy. Timmy and Tommy? Tom Nook, Timmy, Nook, and Tommy Nook. I think I think that's the two kids' names. Um, so you move in with them, it's just you and the Nooks, and then two other animals. Isabel's not there, Gulliver's not there, Blathers isn't there, it's just, it's just you guys. Um, and then you get a you get a tent, and you pay off the cost of living there, which is Nook Miles. And Nook Miles is a new thing they did in this game. So if you played Pocket Camp on the phone, you could do daily activities or um, special requests that it was asking you to do, and then you would get the coins. I have it on my phone. I play it every day. I don't know. I don't know what it's called. Um, but you get rewards and. I think it's bells. I think you get like bells and friendship items. Um, so if you played the, the phone game, the Nook system, the Nook Miles system is extremely similar to the phone games, to Pocket Camp's uh, reward system. And when you do things, you get awarded the Nook Miles, if that makes sense. So if you catch five fish, you get Nook Miles. If you, if they want you to dig up a hundred fossils, then you get a thousand Nook Miles. And then with the Nook Miles, you first pay off your house. That the, the first time is the only time you use those Nook Miles to pay for your tent or your living expenses. Every time after that, it's bells. But starting off, you pay for, use the Nook Miles to pay off your house, use the Nook Miles to um, buy furniture. Eventually, you can buy um, fences and sidewalks and you can buy big robots and a Godzilla statue. So there's a lot that you can get with the Nook Miles. It's like exclusive special items that would have usually been in a fortune cookie. So you can get the Animal Cross exclusive switch in the game using those miles. So those miles are really good to have. 
There is a part where you go to other islands uh, and you need the Nook Miles to buy the ticket to go to other islands. So when you start playing the game, definitely start saving up those Nook Miles. Just a few things you want to get off the bat. You want to get the Utility Ring. I think it's called the Utility Ring because there's a lot of different tools. You have your shovel, you have your slingshot, you have your axe. Eventually you get a, a pole vault thing to jump over the water and you also get a ladder, watering can. So you want that ring. It's going to create a, a better organization to switch between the tools instead of just going tool to tool. It comes up on the screen like a big circle and then you can select whichever one you want. Very similar to Fallout for anyone who's played Fallout and um, your favorite items like that. While you play through the game, um, you get people like Blathers. I think he showed up on like my third day for me. Um, and you have to find pieces of Blathers phone in the sand. Isabel comes the tent that the nooks are in right now that will eventually expand to uh, the little nooks getting their own store nooks cranny um, they're so they're bringing back nooks cranny that building I don't know if it gets bigger than the initial one I haven't gotten that far yet um, and then Tom Nook's tent eventually goes into City Hall which is the iconic City Hall that we know from all the other Animal Crossing games and eventually the Mabel sisters, oh Mabel, Mabel label, and then the other one, the sewing machine one that I can never think of. So they come in. Um, the first one I think you get in though is Blathers. Blathers moves in and you have to bring him fossils to open up his museum. And this museum is unlike any other Animal Crossing museum. I don't know if anyone out there has watched the Nintendo Direct on Animal Crossing that was released a month before the game came out, but the museums are wild. I'll try and... Some of the new things about this game compared to any of the other Animal Crossing games is that you can build fences. I don't think you could ever build fences before, um, but eventually you'll get Tom Nook will give you a fence that you get to build a fence um, and in the Nook Milo shop you can buy different kinds of fences they're all super cool so whatever look you want for your town you can do that once you beat the game and beating the game isn't that hard it's it doesn't take that long if you skip days it doesn't take that long and when I what I mean by skip days is you change the time on your switch so if they say this museum will be built tomorrow you change the time or the date on your your switch to go to tomorrow so that that's built and then you go back to today I am a culprit of this I skip days some people see it as cheating but I am impatient and I want to play Animal Crossing um, so in the beginning, I really heavily skipped forward, then back, then forward, then back, just to load things. Um, so if I did an expansion on my house, I would skip to tomorrow to have that done and then skip back to today, just so I didn't have to wait for that to load overnight. Um, so I am guilty of skipping around. It's, I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I think it's just trying to progress the game and everyone plays at a different speed. I know some people who don't skip because they want to experience it for the time that it is. I know some people like me that do skip because we're impatient. So, I mean, everyone's different with it. Let me know below if you're a skipper or not. <laughs> and beating the game is, once you get to a point, Tom Nook will tell you that he's really excited for, um, he wants to invite KK Slider to the island, which is super exciting because who doesn't love KK Slider, right? Am I right? So, once you do all the tasks that him and Isabel want you to do and KK Slider comes to the town, that is technically beating the game. That is around a week or two into it real time. It took me four days, four or five days, I think. Um, no, it took, me, it took me almost a week. It took me around six days um, to go through and beat, beat the game. Once you beat the game and the credits roll after that, you can modify cliffs, you can modify waterfalls, you can modify rivers. So you'll go, you'll use your nook miles, and then you can buy shovels that you can build cliffs or demolish them. And the same thing, you can build waterfalls, change rivers. It's really handy if you're trying to build bridges, but you don't have the, the bells to build that many bridges. So you can just kind of dig a walkway across the river so you can just easily get across. It's just convenient having it. So that's a big difference between this game and any of the other games. All of the games have had really great post play so once you beat the storyline or the official game then 
it has a lot of post where you can still do the same things you were doing every single time you play the game. So you can talk to the animals, you can keep building your house, you can, in this game, you can actually move things. So if you want to move your house, you can. If you want to move your museum, your, um, your clothing store, your little convenience shop, you can move all of that. I don't think you can move town hall though. I think that stays where it is. So there is a ton of stuff to do once you beat the storyline of this game. I personally like it better being at the after so then I can really focus on customizing my town, talking to my animals, and bringing people to my town. My friend code for Switch will be down below. I may also put it somewhere on the screen here. So feel free to add me on Switch. I do open my gate at least once a day, I would say. I have all of the fruits in my town, so come grab some fruit, have some fun. Sorry if this video is kind of all over the place. Um, I didn't post for over a week now because I've just been playing Animal Crossing, so I have a lot of thoughts. I was originally going to make this video last week, but then I realized I only played the game for uh, like 12 hours straight, um, so I feel like I couldn't do a proper review. Um, I don't know if this will be a proper review because it's kind of all over the place. I'm going to try and edit it the best I can so that it's kind of cohesive and it makes sense. Um, but this game is amazing. My thoughts on this game is that it's spectacular, it's fantastic, it's by far the best Animal Crossing game. If you can get your hands on this and or a Switch, highly, highly recommend. It's so much fun. It will give you hours upon hours upon hours of gameplay and fun things to do. I will pick it up to check my things in the morning and it will be 12 hours later and I'll be like, wow, what day is it? Because it, when I play that game, time just like doesn't exist. It just goes, whoo. Um, so yeah, highly, highly recommend. And this video is also not sponsored by Nintendo, although I wish it was, but it's not. Well, I guess that's all for my uh, review video if we can call it that even <laughs> um well thank you guys for watching if you want to see more content like this um please let me know down below in the comments if you want to see more videos like this and you don't tell me you want to i'm not going to make more videos like this because i don't think no one likes them so if you want to see more video game related videos reviews walkthroughs that kind of thing let me know down in the comments and just check out my other social media if you want to subscribe to me that'd be super cool and come join the squad we can all play animal crossing together but I'm going to be posting every Saturday now instead of Saturdays and Wednesdays. I'm doing other projects that it just, it's too much to post twice a week now. So I'm switching to only Saturdays. So Saturdays at uh, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, I'll be posting videos every week. So make sure to subscribe, turn on the notifications if you want, and I will see you all next Saturday.